Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with Coney Dogs. That's right, not only are these Coney Island hot dogs one of America's first and most famous fast foods, they're also one of the great culinary trick questions. And that's because the answer to the question, where are these the most popular, is not Coney Island. It's actually Detroit. Or as us Kiss Army members refer to it, Rock City. But anyway, we'll discuss that in the blog post. For now, we're going to get started with the meat sauce. And when you're talking Coney dogs, it's all about the meat sauce. So we're going to take a saucepan and start dumping things in it. Things like half an onion diced up. We're going to need some ground beef, of course. And I believe this is the 85-15 blend, lean to fat. But pretty much anything on that leaner side is going to work. And by the way, you can just dump yours in. You don't have to touch it like this. I'm not sure exactly why I do that. But anyway, we're going to dump in some beef. We're also going to need a little bit of minced garlic. And then a little bit of a surprise ingredient, some butter. Just a cold chunk like that. And then an array of spices, starting with celery salt. And you thought that was just for your Bloody Marys. No, it's good in this too. We're also going to need a couple spoons of chili powder. I'm using ancho. We're also going to need some freshly ground black pepper and some salt and a little bit of ground cumin. And then we'll finish off the seasonings with a little bit of cayenne pepper. All a Coney dog is, is an all beef hot dog topped with what's basically a chili-like meat sauce. And at this point, especially if you've been watching this channel for a while, you're probably thinking, I bet he goes ahead and sautés all this and then adds some liquid. Well, actually, this time we're not. We're not going to brown this. Instead, we're going to dump in some water and then some kind of tomato product. I like ketchup. A lot of people use sauce or tomato paste. But I'm going to go ahead and use some ketchup. And then what's going to happen here? We're going to put this on medium-high heat and bring this up to a simmer while we mix it with a potato masher. And I know it looks and sounds bizarre, but we're going to do it anyway. And it's going to take a while for this stuff to get hot. And while you're waiting, you're just going to keep mixing and mashing. What we're trying to achieve here is a sauce that has as small a particles of meat as possible. So this really is the most critical step. I mean, actually, it's really the only step. But it is, in fact, the most critical one. Because if you don't mix that meat into those wet ingredients while this comes up to temperature, you'll have big, chunky clumps. Or is it big, clumpy chunks? I can never remember. But the point is you don't want those. So as this heats up, keep mixing, mashing. And eventually what you're going to have is a very smooth albeit fairly disgusting looking, meat paste. But don't worry, that's what it's supposed to look like. And at that point, all we're going to do is lower the heat to medium low and just let that simmer, stirring occasionally until it kind of reduces and thickens. And how far you go is really up to you. All right, some people like this mixture very thick, kind of dry. Others prefer it rather wet and sloppy. So it really depends on what you're into. And really, that's all there is to it. And at this point, I should mention, our friends in Detroit suggest you do not skim any of that fat off the top. That's just butter and beef fat. Nothing that you don't want soaking into that hot dog bun later. So we're just going to simmer this for about an hour. And when I was done, that's what mine looked like. And then, of course, the actual and real last step would be to taste this for seasoning. And since this is a condiment for hot dogs, after all, we want to make sure it's nicely seasoned. So make sure you got enough salt. I went ahead and added a little bit more. You also want to check for heat. It should be a little bit spicy. And then once we have our desired texture and our seasoning just right, we're ready to serve. And what makes a Coney dog a Coney dog is the following combination. We're going to take one steamed bun, not grilled, not toasted, steamed, which really just means warmed in the oven. We're going to top that with a boiled hot dog, not grilled, just simply boiled in salty hot dog water. And then, of course, the star of the show, our Coney Island meat sauce. Look at that. It's so not beautiful, which is why the next two ingredients are so important. We're going to drizzle that generously with yellow mustard and also some diced raw onions. And not only do we add those two ingredients for taste and texture, but I think you'll agree it really does improve the aesthetics here. And my version of the Coney dog is done. And by the way, this is not something you want to eat cold. So I'm going in while it's hot. And these can be a little messy. So I do suggest you practice. But any messiness is totally worth it. Just a truly, truly delicious bite. I mean, come on, just a plain hot dog with onions and mustard's good. But when you spoon over that aromatic, slightly sweet, slightly salty, slightly spicy meat sauce... It just becomes something a lot more special. So hot dogs, a very popular summer food and very easy to get burned out on. So if you are looking to throw a little bit of variety into your wiener routiner, then I really hope you give these a try. So head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.